All right, so now that I have my terms of service and privacy policy linked up over here, I want to actually add that thick box functionality. So let me go back to the documentation and I'm going to look at the examples. Now I'm not doing a single image or gallery images. I want to do what the inline content. I definitely want to do that. Uh, no, it, no, no, it's not in line. What am I talking about? I'm not showing and hiding it. I here it is. Iframe content. Basically, since I'm linking it from another page, and it's not AJAX because it's not like I'm not actually requesting anything that way. I am just adding a, a URL. Um, yeah, I think all, all the information I need is right here. So let's see. First step, it says, says create a link element. Okay, I did that give the link a class attribute with the value of thick box okay let me let me do that um, let me show you an easy mistake to make that I've made in my um, time working with this it says add a uh, add a class to the link of um, thick box do not add it to your list item like so this is wrong. I remember I, when I did this, I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. I just, you know, you need to add it to the link item. So make sure you add it to your A1, right in between that A and href. There we go. So that should do good. Um, well, let's see. So now, so that was step one. Does that does that work? I get a little anxious. Uh, no, it doesn't. I mean, sorta. That's cool more than what it was before but um, well it doesn't work so we're missing something let's see in the href a in the href attribute of the link provide the URL that you'd like to display in a thick box okay it did that okay after the URL add the following query on the end of the URL and any parameters you might add so right here I could tell that obviously they want me to add this to it and I'm looking at, at right at the very end. Actually, right here, you see that here's where I could define my height and width. Actually, that is pretty cool, isn't it? Because that's just that's just good design over there. Good, uh, yeah, good plugin design. Because now this guy's allowing me to edit this plugin without doing anything to the CSS or the uh, JavaScript that it was. I mean, we changed that one path to the JavaScript, but that was that was fine. That was no uh, no problem at all. Actually, before we move on, let's see. Let's make sure we have everything. It says change the values of the height or width accordingly. Okay. Optionally, you may add modal to the string query. So that closing the thing. Okay. There's there's some other options. I wonder. We there may be. If we look up top, there may be even more options. Overview examples. Now this is the whole document. I was going to say he may have some advanced. Uh, some advanced parameters we could put in there. Uh, even if he doesn't have it listed in his documentation, we could likely just look through his um, JavaScript file and see that. But um, anyway, I'm not going to bother with all that. Uh, I'm just going to add that thing I copy and pasted from. So here's my URL. And now I'm going to add. Oops, I hope you guys see this okay. So I had in there before terms, and then I just copied everything. So this question mark starts the query, and then here's the rest of it. So you got to make sure you add it this way. And obviously the height and the width is what it's going to set it to. So let me set it for here as well. I'm going to give this guy a save, and um, let me give this a preview. Hey, look at that. That looks slick. That's way slick, and uh, not only that, it's that was way simple to to implement. I like it.